Here we're going to do energy balance on a constant pressure process using the steam tables. We start out with a liquid vapor mixture and then we're going to add heat. We're going to do this at constant pressure and the question is what's the final temperature? What phases are present? first thing we want to do is draw a diagram representing the process we're looking at. So I've represented as a piston. As we add heat, we expect to have more vapor. question is, do we still have liquid remaining in the system? And so we're going to do an energy balance. And we're doing energy balance on a closed system. So the change in energy within that system is Q plus W. So we're adding heat, we know that value. The work is at constant pressure, and the pressure 450 kilopascals, so minus P delta B, which means I can write this as delta PV. And the reason I want to do that is because then I can rearrange and say delta U plus delta PV is equal to the heat added, delta H, which is equal to H is U plus PV, so the left side's delta H. The right side, then, is 2,000 kilojoules. So I need to now find the initial and final values for the enthalpy. I use the steam tables to do that. So initially, I've called this state 1, H1. It's a mixture of liquid and vapor, so I'm going to take the quality times the enthalpy of the vapor plus 1 minus the quality times the enthalpy of the liquid, that would give me the enthalpy per kilogram. Problem says we have one tenth of a kilogram of vapor. And then the enthalpy of the vapor, I'm going to look up in the saturation tables at 450 kilopascals. And this is 2743.1. This is kilojoules per kilogram. And then I have nine tenths of a kilogram of liquid. And its enthalpy. Again, kilojoules per kilogram. So H1, if I do this multiplication, 834.5 kilojoules. H2 is just H1 plus our value Q. So H2 is 2834.5 kilojoules. And we're doing this calculation for one kilogram. So the first thing we can notice is that H2 is larger than the enthalpy of saturated vapor at this pressure, which means we must have superheated steam, and we would go to the superheated table. In this case, for the table I'm using, I'm going to have to interpolate, so I'm going to write down the values for the temperatures and show the interpolation. So here are the steam tables all at 450, right? Everything's at 450 kilopascals. And so T2 is somewhere between 175 and 200. So interpolation T2 minus 175, this difference divided by the total difference in temperature, 200 minus 175, should be this difference in enthalpy divided by this difference. And so I can solve for T2. If I do that, I get 189.2 degrees C. Significant figures, I'm going to call this 190 degrees C. So we have superheated steam, and it's at 190 degrees C.